So hello everybody and welcome to a Halo Wars return. It has been years, I think. I, it doesn't matter how long I try to get away from this game. I just cannot seem to get away from it. Uh, and I keep returning to it and it's so much fun. Uh, it's just a shame the player base is kind of dead, <laughs> but it's loads of fun to watch RTSs. So we are we're playing, I can't remember who it was, um, but I have, there's two brutes and an Arby on each side. So, I'm, I, as you can see, I am enthralled with the fact I'm uh, like the silverback brute. I was like, oh my god, I never get to play these colors. So if you don't know, in order to get the cyan and very, 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 very dark green, because I'm pretty sure it's not black, it's like a really dark green. And in order to play those colors, everybody needs to be the same type. So a Covenant or UNSC. There we go. Uh, and luckily... I got one of the really rare colors, and I was like, oh my god, yes! I get to see the silver back brute. Let's look at him. Oh, he's glorious. Look at him. Yes. It's not really the white. It's more like a weird off cream. But it's it's such a color that isn't really a covenant color. It's like, oh, it's so cool to see them. Uh, so I have been playing this in my spare time when um, I've just got nothing to do. Um, and 3v3s are always the most fun. I've been doing a lot of 1v1s, but, you know, they're kind of sweaty. <laughs> so, I like these ones, which is quite, uh, quite cool. So, my plan here is quite controversial. Um, I'm going to go and take the opponent's reactor. <laughs> now, originally, I made the brutes with the thought that I was going to go to my friendly um, reactor and just sit there and, you know, you do the trade, especially with Covenant. It's just so worth it because you, you pass... Like, it's a thousand resources to get to the next stage. Or just have a reactor. So, for the Covenant, it's way, way cheaper. UNSC, they do get the advantage when they need a third or fourth tech. But, you know, just you only have three techs for the uh, the Covenant. And you for a thousand resources and a free reactor, you have access to everything. So, uh, we're all Covenant. And I'm just going to collect all of my resources on the way. You know, he's strolling up. Oh, a little bit of a crate there. I'll take that as well. Yes. <laughs> Um, now, my brute chopper I sent off, and again, it's a, it's a, it's a creamy chopper, it looks so cool. <laughs> I sent that uh, further afield just to collect all the other resources because I knew that my brute was now going to run up. Um, and I, I very rarely play brute uh, in like a 3v3 or anything that's not 1v1. Uh, to be to be honest, I've only played a couple of days. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be frank with you. I'm, I'm a noob. I'm still remembering how to play. Um, but the, this battle gets quite fun uh, when I realize what tactic I'm going to go for. So you can see, I think I've queued up a hall there. Uh, yeah, I'm like, okay, because normally you would go like jackals. I'm thinking jackals because they're all covenant. We're either going to have a banshee battle or it's going to be a lot of rushy sort of things. So I'm expecting a rush um, and I'm holding in my brute for the precise moment. I'm going to have a look and I catch this perfectly because uh, there's no point me taking my brute if I can't get the reactor. And I go, oh, it's free. Get in. Now, one of the perks, yeah, you see, those jackals, I, oh, that's, like, so close. Oh, I got one, so that's good. And, of course, he's being attacked by the, uh, the turret, so that's just going to do the majority of the damage. Um, and I get my brute in, because I, I, you know, by the time I, I noticed there was a jackal there, it was already too late. But the, the, the great thing is, when you're playing as a very, 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 very dark green color, um, you don't see units on the minimap. Like, I had no idea there was a jackal on the way. If it's red, like a bright color, like red or cyan or yellow, you can see that on the minimap so clear as day. So you can see the yellow's also checking this out. And he's got... He, he forgot. <laughs> he tried to lock it up, but oh, the vortex. I think I I definitely go for the tsunami upgrade on my vortex. I don't think... I haven't done it just yet, but that's awesome. So here we go. I've got two reactors, and I'm thinking to myself... Oh, sorry, tech level two. I can go for vampires. Oh my god, I didn't think about this. So I'm just going to try and queue up as many vampires as I can while I still have this reactor. And I'm also... Yeah, there it is. Soon I'm like, okay, he's he's locked down. He's got a haul. He's probably going to amass a bunch of jackals and send them out. And I'm like, oh, oh, wait, never mind. He's already done it. <laughs> so I'm like, let's move away from that, shall we? Uh, and collect these free resources. Uh, and what I realize... Um, a lot of people that I play with on PC, because this is the, the Steam version, and I'm like, oh, here we go. They don't go around and collect the resource crates. I have no idea why. As you can see, there's just resources outside my base. Blue has got loads, or Cyan has loads of resources. And there we go. And Blue's told me I've got stuff to worry about. So that's unfortunate. 
Because, although I do get a free teleport back with my brute because of the, the crates I just collected, I am going to lose that reactor, so I didn't get any vampires off. Uh, and he's going to take out this. What's great is yellow is helping me. Blue fled the base, which is fine, but he's not helping me. <laughs> like, I know what's going on with my base, man. So luckily, um, I get that off. I don't think that was a tsunami uh, vortex, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, no, it was. It was, it was. I waited, I waited. So he's going to run around his brutes. They do so much damage. Look at that. They are just ripping that supply pad apart. Luckily, though, um, my yellow brute, brute free chieftain friend was going for a brute rush anyway. So he's just going to stop the rush and just come back and help me. So that's really good. I think that's because he knew that I was, um, you know, in a bit of a tough situation. My brute's so far away. But you can see my vortex is so much bigger than his. It does... Not that it's a competition, but he does kill my warehouse, which is unfortunate. But yeah, he's he's gonna get out of there. Um, and I'm like, okay, what do I do now then? Because I can't go for banshees. Huh. Do I go for hall? I mean, I could go for banshees, but like, I don't have the vampire thing. That's what I wanted to go for. So I see that he has brutes. I'm like, hmm, that's a really good idea. But you know what? I'll get, I'll get, I'll get some banshees first. And I do queue up one of the brutes because now I'm thinking, right, all the other... Covenant, and probably on their side, I've just went to take an expo, like a, a spare base. And I'm like, cheers. <laughs> Thank you, yellow. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just do the same. Like we have uh, Healy in the middle. And that's why this map is so good for Covenant. You not only have a reactor, which is so good for Covenant, but you also have a Healy thing in the middle that, you know, if you control, You've pretty much won the game. I mean, we haven't won the game, but it's a big factor in winning. I'm like, yeah, look at him. Little big silverback brute. Looks gorgeous. Uh, so, yeah, this is a one of three videos in this video. Uh, one of three videos. Uh, this is one of three games, if I can even talk, where brutes. We all decide to go brutes after this. I may all be friends like, you know what? I'll join. We're all like, boo, 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 boo. <laughs> oh, so the, these next three, well, this game included, are going to be amazing. Um, and I think there's maybe one or two people on the opposite team that stay on. I think one does. Uh, so we do face against different people. So he's got his brutes and he's running them into the middle. And this is a really old strategy, but because we can heal our brutes, I, I understand why they're going for it. You'll notice what they're doing is stripping the turrets off the bases before killing the base. Uh, and that's so that they can get prestige on their uh, hero. As you can see, the Arbiters are one star then. I'm thinking, hold on, I'll do it. <laughs> so I'm like, wait a minute, I'll get prestige as well. Because the thing is, as long as you... And he's got one star as well. No, I can't be left out. Um, you can just go to the middle. And if you go to the middle, you can, you know, heal yourself pretty well. And that's precisely what everyone's going to do. Uh, so we have not seen any aggression from red. We haven't seen any aggression from uh, the very, very dark green. And there you go. I'm like, okay, I've still got one. I haven't got a star yet. That's that, that's cool. That's cool. Whatevs. I'm like, oh, a cheeky little chopper there. But I'll take my expo because I've got a lot of resources. I'm, you know, I'm specking into my brute. Um, I could queue up banshees if I want to, but I'm not feeling any threat at the moment. Which is interesting because if every... You know, if all three covenants on one side... I'm like, I see you there. I see you there. <laughs> uh, if all three covenants just target down one of the of the covey, like, let's say someone's rushing, and there we go. Yellow's taking the middle. That is beautiful. Got purple out of there because he's the one that rushed me and needed to heal. Uh, Cyan's doing brilliant there, going for banshees, just to check out the uh, bases and see if he can just take anything out that's starting to build a bit like mine. Uh, and he does see one there. I've just noticed that on the minimap. Uh, and there it is, just set up. Now, the interesting thing with these bases, I always destroy that there, that's brilliant. That would have been a uh, pro ga gamer move of me, my god. Um, with Covenant bases, their health isn't determined by what's on or how many supply bags they have. It's actually the upgrade, like Citadel or Fortress or that sort of thing, which is interesting. So that's going to be a really easy base to take down. And I'm glad that I know this because I didn't know that before. For some odd reason, for the years and years I played this game, I always thought it was a bit like the UNSC. So you strip the pads and then the base is easier to take down. Now, red I see is going for Banshees. So I'm like, okay, okay, it's got to be Vamps. It's got to be Vamps or something that can take on Banshees, which the Covenant don't have too many answers for, I'll be honest. 
Uh, and I've just made a turret there to be like, screw you. <laughs> not only is it... I mean, really, I'm not doing anything on this base that he can't, you know, already predict. Um, and wow, yellow actually goes to now push forward onto red. And he has not upgraded his vortex. I'm really not too sure about that. I do have four banshees, so I'm just going to put in some um, some help here. And then, actually, I think I decide not to. Oh, I don't know. No, yeah, I'm just hovering over the big cliff side. So I'm really weighing up my options. I'm like, I have no idea what I want to do here. I, I'm one tech off going for vampires. So I've got one brute. I'm like, you know what? You go to the friendly reactor and at least that way I can make the decision to go for vampires because I could go into banshees and waste a lot of resources or I could just boom at the moment. And that's what I decide to do. I'm just going to get my eco boom going so that no matter what I choose, I'm pretty good. And of course he comes back to the middle and he's like, damn it! <laughs> and he wastes another hundred resources. And then I luckily... Uh, find his expo there, but I know I knew for a fact that uh, they were coming back, and I, I see that. I'm like, no, you cheeky git, you ain't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do as much damage to this thing as possible. So screw. I mean, he kind of knew. I think he had a feeling I was gonna come back, and I was like, you know what? I don't care for these banshees. I'm just gonna kill them. And as you can see, I think he's got his brute there. Yeah, he's a brute. We a brute. He she. We a brute. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, let's put all our brutes in the middle. Woo. So my, my brutes, I could have teleported them, I suppose. Maybe it would have been easier or faster, but they're just running through all the way to the reactor. You know, it's, it's a hard look life. You've got to, got to put in the graft somehow. So I managed to actually save three of my four banshees there. I don't even know how I did that. But uh, hey-ho, there we go. I'm, I'm recovering my brute too. And I'm being attacked now. And I see the jackals with the shield. And already I'm thinking, okay, he's not going infantry anymore. Like, it, he would not be foddering these off. He knows I have a brute. And he knows that I can just vortex these guys. And because they're not beam rifle, they're not going to do enough damage to me. And unfortunately, yep. Yeah, I think he's just checking me. Because he lost his chopper. Um, and already at this point, I feel like we've got this in the bag. I, I'm not feeling so much pressure. As you can see, I literally have no units. So I'm not feeling worried about going for anything. I'm taking this easy. I'm getting my eco boomer. And you know, sometimes after the sweaty 1v1 matches, something like this is what you need. So I haven't upgraded my brute, as you can see. There's just, uh, it has no upgrade in the icon. But this guy, his thing's glowing and bam! He just goes straight away. I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right, big Brutus. Oh, and then I see this. So, for some odd reason, I think he was expecting, and then and then he just teleports out. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, getting bumps, guys. I'm getting bumps. You be prepared, guys. I'm gonna support the an oh oh. <laughs> okay. So, so Jan has the advantage. They've already got the reactor, so. I'm like, right, they've got vamps. What the hell do I do then? I feel like I have no part in this. I, I just look cool. That's my job. So I'm going to have the, ba the Banshees come over here, I think. Uh, yeah, the, the, it's dead anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to send them away. And I think I decide to just hide them around one of the expo bases, just in case they decide to take it. So I've got some line of sight. I'm set up for the double pump on vamps, but I'm still questioning it. I'm thinking, what is there anything that can counter vamps in the covenant now normally it'd be wolverines for unsc but in this scenario uh i'm like you know what? i've just got so much resources i'll upgrade my brute i'll have some vampires some vampires will do right if i really want to now what i could do is just ask for the reactor and then i can get like massive upgrades for everything um and i know there is a glitch in this game that if you delete a supply pad you permanently for the rest of the game glitch your economy and i'm not too sure why that is i think it's it's like the supply pads the first one you build gives you 100 percent of the resources you can have the second one doesn't it's a reduced amount depending on how many you've already got so let's say it's 90 percent, then the third one gives you 80 percent, and then the fourth one gives you 70 percent, and then it, it it gets lower and lower so when you delete one of the supply pads it screws up with the math so you can never get as high as you were so 
that's something that, again, I didn't know when I was playing as, you know, when this first came out. I was going to say as a kid, but I, I pretty much was a kid when this came out. <laughs> I was a teenager, dude. I was I was skiving off school to play this. As soon as I got home, I was playing this. Jesus, that's, that's a lifetime ago. So I do flare up the reactor and Yellow shows me that he's given it to me. And Yellow's actually got the jetpack brutes. <laughs> the jet the, 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 the jet pack brute. Now the brute from the dark green comes back. And I'm thinking, hmm, you know what? He's just gonna sit there and hit me. I'm okay. Maybe I'll maybe I'll come back. I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll get some turrets. At least you know that way. I'm I'm help. Oh my! Ha! He still hasn't healed his brute. <laughs> that poor purple Pokemon. So I'm like, oh, do I get repeating? Can I'm not worried about this man. I'm really not worried. I don't even know what this guy has. He fought it off the rest of his jackals. Worst case scenario, he's going for a scarab, I think, um, or a bunch of vampires or banshees. But then. I see this guy come along, the yellow brute, and he has a bunch of brutes. And I'm like, you know what? I like that, man. I like the way you think. <laughs> so he does a great thing there. He's like, I'll, I'll jump out of the vortex and we just, it's brute on brute. And he gets scared and teleports away, which is fair enough. You know, a silverback brute is one of the scariest brutes you can have out there, especially with the yellow. I, I quite like the yellow. Yellow's another color. That's the uh, a rarer one. Because normally, I think it goes purple, cyan, and then red. And then you go yellow. And I don't know what's the... I think... I think... Turret complete. White, or cream, is the rarest color. I think the eighth player needs to... Oh, sorry, sixth player needs to be Covenant. Um, or UNSC do get it too, but UNSC is not as good. I don't care. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Covenant's more fun to play. I think it's just the 1v1 has really, uh, it, it sort of scarred me uh, because it's just warthogs. It's warthogs, warthogs. And if you lose your warthogs, it's like, it's it's so stressful 1v1. And this is so nice because I get to have fun and I get to try different things. So as you can see quite clearly, uh, Purple doesn't know what the hell he's doing. He's, he sent his brood in there. He's like, I will heal and I will bring all my grunt squads. And I've also decided on my tactic. It's brutes. It's brutes, boys. <laughs> now, what's great about these brutes is they only take up one population, which is so cheap. And I notice I've sent one out there. And I'm like, no, I don't like that. I want uh, they need to teleport to me. So at this point, we've got pr priority map control. We almost have all the bases on our side. And they're missing maybe three, definitely two. And I'm just going to upgrade stuff. Uh, I'm getting the electro shot, which I think stuns. Vehicles? It might even stun inventory. And I, you know what? I, I'm with this guy, man. I'm so with this guy. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get some brutes and I'm going to teleport in with you, dude. And with, you'll see how this will play. And th I love that badge. This badge is glitched. So it's, it's just going to do circles outside the map. And I'm like, you know what? I'll send the two back. I'll keep that guy there, though. <laughs> I was going to bring him over. And I sort of see something crazy going on here. Uh, and Red has so many vamps now. So I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't go for vamps. Um, but for some odd reason, purple, purple, I don't think knows what they're doing because they went for brutes. Sorry, uh, grunt squads. There's not even brutes in there, man. There's just, it's just, so I'm like, you know what? I will help out. He's probably going to teleport his own brute away. Yep, he does. Uh, he could have stayed in there for a little while longer. But I have the first upgrade. I have the tsunami upgrade. And when you explode your vortex, uh, it's going to do a lot of damage. And I see that Cyan's helping me out here. So I'm just like, I see the Arbiter there with one star, and I'm just going to explode this and kill everything. <laughs> they get splattered around. Uh, the Arby's deciding to run away. He's not raging, probably because he's worried he might glitch onto the cliffside and just kill himself. So I see all those red bars, and unfortunately I don't explode near, and I'm like, you know what? As long as we keep the middle, it doesn't matter how much damage I take. It really doesn't. I see the freaking... <laughs> The friggin' black slash dark green brutes back again. So I'm like, you know what? I got this, man. I got this. So they are kind of taking the middle. But we have the air. We don't need to worry. And I see now. Oh, now. Now he's going for them. And they're not even upgraded brutes. I'll show you. I'm like, look. I'm like, yellow. Dude, get your brutes over here. It's going to be a brute off. And then I see grunts. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm luring them over so I can get back up from my, my turret. So, uh, yeah, you can see the brute starts to get hit by the turret, which is good. Uh, I don't mind about losing these at all. And what I decided to do is actually run closer to his own unit. So if he does vortex me, he's going to be hurting my stuff. And he's also going to be, uh, you know, taking damage from the shield. 
generator, which is great. So I do unfortunately lose everybody. Um, but you want to be fighting next to your buildings, because if they vortex, it doesn't do as much damage. So, as you can see, quite clearly, we are going for the brute strat. It's a good strat. It's literally the only strat you want to be doing with the brutes. And I see yellow coming in here, I'm like, yes! Yes! I think he teleported his own brute out. Yeah, I think he did! And they just go to work. So, look at this! It's so <laughs> satisfying! <laughs> just rip them apart, and I've got some brutes in there. But yellow, yellow is the reason I decided. He's the reason I decided to go for brutes. Damn, the, the brute shop? So freaking good. Uh, there's something about Halo Wars, it's it's simple. And even though I do play this on Steam, I do use an Xbox controller just because it's 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 the way it's meant to be played. Like the shortcuts are meant for controller. They're just super quick and easy. And here, here we go, I'm like, oh my god! The creamy vamps, they look so freaking good, dude. <laughs> I love the way those things look. So I sent them over to um, the, the cliffside because only flying units can get over there. That and a scarab. I don't think they're going to have a scarab. And finally, I take my second expo. So now I'm going to have an extra place to farm my brutes from. So I've got three, uh, basically three things to get brutes from. As well as I'm just going to stick a shield generator on and fill it with warehouses. Even though they're going to do... They're, they're, you know, you get less efficiency for it her warehouse, but hey, it's better than nothing. So now I see, for some reason, the purple's going over here. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay. So I I'm just getting as many brutes as possible. I'm grading my brute chieftain as much as possible. Straight for the shield generator, just to save it. I mean, I don't, I don't think I really needed it, if I'm honest. And look at that. Look at that. The damage that that Arby's doing to all those grunt squads. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and yeah, look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And now I'm just I'm just switching between the two. Filling them up when I can. And if I've got spare, just throw a supply pad on. I could upgrade that base, but at the moment, I'm just wanting to get my brute numbers up. I've got them fully upgraded. So I, I want to be in Yellow's position. I want to be running around with my brute chieftain with a cohort of brutes behind <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm after. And there you go. Yeah, I'm just cycling through like boop, 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 boop. <laughs> They're so good. I, I think that's also when I realized that they only cost one population. And I think that's a bit crazy. I was expecting it to be a bit more. But no. And purple rage quits. For some odd reason, him going for brutes. Sorry, grunts. Just, it, it, he just didn't want to do it anymore. He didn't want any more grunt squads. He was like, no. And I'm like, no. No, I'm just getting my brutes. So please don't nobody else rage quit, please. And I don't have a star on my brute chieftain, which I'm very disappointed about. It sucks. It really does. But this is the world we live in. And I'll make do. So I'm like, oh, yes, look at them. Look at them. They're so rare to find. <laughs> and they really are. They really are quite rare. Um... But I'm keeping them there just so they're out of range of anything. And I know that Red has some uh, aircraft. So I was going to take that base, but Cyan beat me to the punch. So at this point, we know, we know what's going to happen. Local units. The boots are going to come in and look at it. Look at it. It's so good. I'm like, look at this. Yes. <laughs> Broody stuff. And I'm thinking, wait, you're attacking me? Why are you also going for sc <laughs> And he's back. And there we go. There's the uh, the vampires. And I'm like, okay, wait, where's my vamps? Where did I put my vamps? I'm, I'm, I'm fighting things on two fronts here. And I'm like, what? Why is that brute chieftain almost dead? Could you not have got an engineer? Like a single engineer? Nope. And you look at this. The brutes just rip through. Not only do they have the bonus for taking on uh, thing, And I'm like, oh, wait, I have vamps. And I didn't think about that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there they are. Uh, you know what? Just just shoot the brute chieftain. You kill the brute chieftain, we pretty much... I don't need to come back and defend. I'll just build turrets. And I think this might have been the last Hail Mary from... from oh, and unfortunately the red. Yeah, it was the last Hail Mary. I'm like, look, at least I got to jump them once. Woo! <laughs> and yeah, I always want to take them out my vampires. So keep, keep, keep. Uh. <laughs> what a more undignified way to go. I see the GG there on the bottom left as well. I'm like, yeah, I know. I know it's pretty much over now. For some odd reason, they did not capitalize on their free reactor, which we did. And it's a shame. 
It's a bloody shame. And of course, jackals are just terrible against anything. I'm like, oh, oh, and there we go. Well done. Well done, everybody. And I came second. Welcome to the second battle. And this time, as you can see, there are three brutes all this side. <laughs> I think, yes, this time we start on the opposite side. And unfortunately, no silverback brute. But I am the yellow brute, so it's not so bad. And there is only one missing covenant, unfortunately. If someone decided to be a party pooper, I, I don't know who it was. It might have been the one who was... Nope, it was my lesser. Uh, the, the only one who was like, you know what? I'm going to specifically be UNSC. And there we go. The, uh, the for the brute message there, just ringing true throughout the entire team. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, this is going to be brilliant. I can't wait for this. Um, but it's about to take a twist very early on. So I'm, I'm like looking around. I'm like, I know what I'm doing now. It's it's brute. That's all it is. It's brute. And I'm going to get a brute squad. I'm also going to go to my friendly reactor side. Or am I? Mm, I might surprise you here. Oh, this, this game is actually really interesting. It takes a number of twists and turns. So I'm looking around the map. I'm seeing my brute out there. I'm just going to scan for some resources. And then I look at red. And I go, oh no. <laughs> and I, I flag it up to show purple. I'm like, purple. Uh, and he, there he goes. Now he's seen. He's like, oh. Uh oh. <laughs> So we are a we are a man down at this point. It's it's not looking too good. Now I because it's early on, I switch to global and I ask um uh, not in full caps. I say uh, we are down uh, a brute or down a player. Just so everyone knows just in case. I mean, you could say oh well they're obviously going to rush now cuz they know. But just We're as I say that, the guy comes back. Ready. And he is I think what? three or four buildings below everybody else so Ready. we are heavily on the back foot straight I'll away do it. I'll but I'll do it. does it matter when you're this mlg pro well actually yeah it does, Enemy <clears throat> yeah, it does. but you know Local we'll units. still have fun we'll see I'll how it goes i'm not i'm not gonna spoil it i'm gonna spoil if we win or lose what? you know whatever Go. but you'll notice my brute is uh kind of just going all the way Ready. to their side <laughs> now i really Where wanted to try a whole setup first because that way what you do, or the theory is, and I see that, I'm like, hell no, you ain't getting any more resources. I'm destroying that. And thus starts my crusade against uh, the dark green. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I want to do a haul. I want to just set everything out, but we're really far away and there's, you know, they could easily counter it. I think if it's a 2v2 or a 1v1, maybe, but a 3v3, I'm happy to do this. And I noticed Citadel that they complete. still, they haven't taken their reactor. So I'm like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Let's get that brute in there. While also collecting their resources again. These guys just don't collect supply crates, which is befuddling to me. Uh, so I'm just like, yep, let's just uh, get you in there. And it's about to get risky. I'm checking to see what they've destroyed. And I've noticed that uh, Dark Green has actually went for something else. I think they've just decided to go for buildings and luckily just as i put my boots in there he sends a grunt squad over and i'm like oh well i'm gonna send my chopper hell yeah and then i'm just gonna take this brute and i don't even know what i'm doing i'm like uh i haven't decided at this moment and then i see the arbiter and he's raging and i'm like oh god get the chopper out of there and i don't know whether he was actually gonna go for my my chopper or not but i think he forgot he can't rage in the react either that or he has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> to be fair, he's already destroyed, I think, two uh, settlements. So he's going for the prestige on his Arbiter, which seems to be quite the thing that everyone likes to do, which is interesting. Um, so I'm deciding to just go for Banshees because I'm really not too sure how this is going to go. A Brute's are miles away from, from home. I did not mean to do that. They just automatically sent through and I forgot that I'd set that as what would happen and they weren't locked back up. So they're slowly going to make their way back over to the friendly reactor. While also collecting some prezies on the way, you know, a little bit of, little bit of blue crates, and I, I set my chopper up the right side, and there's just so many crates up there, and I'm like, Whoa. nobody collects crates. I don't know what is going on. I remember back on X Enemy Xbox engaged. days, Xbox 360, that was the meta. If you managed Warehouse to collect crates, you were sorted. You'd have the advantage. You'd get warthogs faster, you get buildings up faster, or whatever. But you know. 
it is what it is, I guess. 3v3s, they're just taking it all chill. <laughs> I'm a sweaty lord. And because I have that uh, that reactor, I'm now in it. I'm like, oh, do I do I just queue up vampires or do I go for the research? I'm like, any, any second I'm going to be taken out of the reactor, right? So do I bother going for the upgrade if I'm just going to lose it? Or do I just queue up as many vampires as possible? And I choose to, to queue up the vampires. And I'm seeing that there's a chance I'm going to be taken out. So I'm like, okay, any resources I get, quickly, quickly. Because that's, you know, I'm going to lose that. And then I'm going to lose my viability to even go for those vamps. So I send, I think I send my brute to collect those resources. Because, yeah, I'm like, no, no, get those resources. Every 250 counts. Yeah, keep, and I think I noticed now enemy engagement and I I might have queued up the research and I'm like, come on, come on, come on. At least get one more. At least get one more. Come on. Come on. One more. Get that 50 quickly. Stay alive. Stay alive. And I get it. Yeah. And then a, a second later, it, it disappears. So I, I know I'm quite comfortable because the only thing I need to worry about with the Covenant is Banshees. And if I've got vampires, I'm sorted. Only issue is Anders is on the opposite team. And of course, she has the cryo bomb which means that they could just freeze everything in the air. But I'm not too worried about that. So that's 600 resources and it's a bit of a waste if he's, you know, if I've only got like three vampires and he's only going to kill one, I think. Something like that. Anyway, take a relax, guys. We're, we're not even halfway through. We're going to have a good time here. You're going to see plenty of brutey goodness. So yellow brute, I'm like, look at the, look at the yellow brute. I never really, I'm going to, I send him there because I want to take a nicer look at him. Look at the yellow brute. If I, yeah, there we go. Oh, look at him. Look at him. There we go. Gorgeous, isn't he? Beautiful. A scene of beauty. So I think I'm queuing up just as many vampires as I can and as well as brutes. So I notice I have just enough to get this base and I was going to rush over because I see that as... Whoa, that's not Cyan. No, Red is over there as well for some reason. Cyan's taking more bases, obviously going for the prestige here. I noticed, I just noticed this base went down, so I'm going to quickly collect, but... Luckily, there's some jackals, which I can ram. And I do the freaking most amazing <laughs> stunt ever. You've had to jump the shark? What about jump the jackal? And I notice that my ram ability comes back so quick. So I decide to, you know, unalive that jackal there. So there, there that goes. So I've got some damage on my brood. And because this map is just so nice for Covenant, uh, you don't even need a, uh, what would you call it? A engineer to heal. So I noticed Red's going very aggressive, especially for someone who's like four buildings behind. <laughs> but they do have the reactor, so that's really going to help them out. Even though Dark Green has their reactor, it's... Yeah, I'm okay. I can just easy switch. I think I might have a brute squad. Oh no, I locked everything up. And that's when I see the Hornets and I think, you know what? While it's early days, let's get my vamps up. I think I had four. Yeah, I had that reactor for two seconds. And I managed to get four vampires up, which is going to be enough to take on those hornets. And I'm pretty... I'm I'm not in the best of spots here, but I also see Arbiter in the middle and he's just going to let his one-star Arbiter die. I'm like, oh, ho, ho, yes. That is a victory. That's so nice. Especially when, you know, he worked hard for that star. Now he's going to lose it. And I noticed that I'm probably going to lose those guys in the middle. But I managed to get a sneaky attack in here while he's healing. I go for the stasis, but for some odd reason, my vampires take ages to execute it. And while they're trying to do it, they can't even do their needler, you know, that anti-air stuff. So actually, no, I think we might have killed their brute. So there we go. Slowly getting some health back on the, you know, the vampire that isn't taking any damage. So that's, that's handy. Now I'm worried. I know that a cryo bomb's gonna come. I know it's gonna happen, so I'm I'm like, okay, let's move out the way. Let's follow his guys, just in case. And because I'm no longer stasis thing, look at the needler. The needlers do so much damage, I see still going for hornets. So this is good. And now that I'm right at his base, I decide to stasis again, but the stasis just isn't working. Um, I think they need to not be really close to them in order for it to work. So I decide to run away so I can get the needler shots off. And I noticed, I think I had to send them to the middle to heal because I don't want to lose any because I can't make them again right now. However, I noticed that one of those hornets is almost dead. So I'm like, ah, I might as well. <laughs> I'll come back. Go on, let's just get a quick sneaky shot in. And he, he tries to heal again. <laughs> so I kill one. And unfortunately, they can't fire backwards. So they're just going to go and heal. But that is another hornet. 
taken out another 250. And I think I, I tried again, and then I'm like, nah, whatever. So we've got two lots of brutes coming through. Pretty happy with the amount of brutage we've got going on. More brutes. There we go. Unlock this to show my three brutus. And I noticed that purple has actually gone for an attack, even though purple doesn't have boost. And this is, I, I see this and I'm actually a bit worried. Um, so luckily I get my vortex off and almost kill one. So this is a very clever strategy, um, especially against me right now. Um, I think I opt for the vampires to help out just because vampires are not too bad against, you know, one upgraded uh, wraiths. So the tactic with Wraith is to run in, do damage, and then run out. Um, now, he does have his Brute, actually. And not only does he have his Brute, I think these have Scorch. So these are twice upgraded uh, Wraiths. Um, so Wraiths are really, really uh, clever uh, one to go to. Because he knows they got Vampires, so Banshees are out of the question. So yeah, Scorch does damage over time. And he was very clever there, putting it on the floor. So I go to chase these guys while my Brutes heal. Um, but there are no, there's no sign of them. They have vanished. Because <laughs> I, I, I know their shields are down. So I'm like, no, 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 no. And then they're so far gone. He did manage to kill a vampire. So that's good for him. But even though we were down a man for about two minutes, we seem to be taking the advantage here. So I'm just slowly putting uh, warehouses on my expo, as well as trying to get back up to vampires. Because I know if I get a full pop of vampires, really, wraiths can only do so much. I do go for some banshees with upgrades because that's also going to be good against wraiths. Really, it's just going to be banshees and vampires and brutes. <laughs> that's all it's going to be. But I am getting jetpack for my brutes because I want to see those guys in action. Purple's doing a great job of stopping uh, black from getting anything. Uh, however... Yeah, he does Scorch, but I'm, I'm just going to get out of there. Uh, and then... He resigns! I, d d he loses his expo, and he decides, nah, that's it. Can't, can't do anymore. Um, so... Which is so confusing, because there is so many wraiths. Cyan is doing an absolutely stellar job here. Really good. It, those are... Like, that many wraiths is commendable. That's brilliant, especially with a one star on his uh, brute. But now I've got jetpack, so when that Scourge comes up, I'm going to jump out of there. And I see it's almost ready, and there it goes. And I'm like, nah, no, you don't. <laughs> and you just watch these wraiths melt with the brute. He needs to keep them moving, but the brute shots are just so freaking good. And for every two brutes, I take out a wraith, and it's it's not really a good uh, trade-off for him, really. And then red, I see at his base... So, at this point, I don't know what Red had. I think Red also had Brutes, but I think he went for Aircraft. So, I was going to go for another base to pump out Brutes even quicker. Because at this point, I can. They take so long to make. As you can see, I've got three queued up in each one there. So, really, I need a third base. And look! Green with his unupgraded Hornets! <laughs> What's he even doing, man? I feel so sorry. Poor Cyan, man. He was doing so well so well. And then for some odd reason, Black had to resign. Green is going for air after you see my vampires. Oh! <laughs> that brute was so high! And he exploded as well! Oh, poor bugger! The Wraith, he's doing a really good job. He's, you know, he's he's targeting down the Brute Chieftain. And I think the Brute's gonna teleport out. Yep, he's gonna teleport. Te teleport. Teleport out before he dies. Um, and yeah, it's Local it's not looking unit. good for Sam, but he does not give up. Look at him go. And Local I'm, I'm determined now. I'm like, you know what? You're sticking in the fight. Let's give him a good fight. Let's honor him. Local He's a brute unit. as well. He's a lost brother. He needs to be brought back into the fold. His problem, you know what it was? He didn't go for brutes. That was the issue. And I, I see, I want to do a pincer maneuver here because over there, uh, purple and red are, but I can get behind him. So I try... Uh, he does see it, kind of, but at this point, he knows he's sandwiched in now. It's it's not looking good. And they're just going to melt them. I don't have the final upgrade, but look at that. He does Scorch, and I, I try to move my troops out. It is a big patch of Scorch, though, so not looking too good. That's one dead. Two Wraiths dead. Oh, wait, no, almost, almost. Oh, there, three. They, they just die. They, they just melt. But he had... I love the Honor Guard Wraiths as well. It's such a cool skin. Which used to be... 
I don't know how you would get it. I think you had to pre-order. There was two types of pre-orders with Halo Wars. One was the Flame Hog, which I did actually have back in the day. And my friend had these guys. And I, I low-key preferred the race, but I never said that. <laughs> I was like, no, Flame Warlocks are awesome. <laughs> But I always like the race better. It was like, you know, it's like having a, a skin on a scorpion tank. But then again, Warthogs are just so freaking good. And as you can see quite clearly here, um, he, he's doing his best. I decided to Vortex just to get some shots off. I just keep this up as, as long as I can here. And then explode one of the wraiths. Another wraith goes down. Boom! I don't think I've upgraded my, my Brute Chieftain twice. He's only got one upgrade. I think he does have the Tsunami on him because it's always worth getting. And there we go. Just drop them in. Quickly pick off that Wraith before its shield can regenerate. Focus down another one. And it's gonna go. I, I swear it's gonna go. Any second. But he's still doing it. He's still getting that. Now the thing is, he'll place lower, I think, because he's lost technically more, more units. Which is such a shame because he stayed in. I think I, we have we barely seen any of green. I'm trying to think what green was doing. I think they were just going for Hornets, if I'm honest. So at this point, I know they've got this and I just want to heal my boots up. Probably should have stayed in seeing the rest of the army was there, but I'm under no pretense. I, I, I accidentally do a little bit of a vortex on some friendly there. But at this point, I know, I know it. I know it's over. I know we've won. And I'm like, you know what? My brutes have done well. They deserve a little bit of a healing. So, even though my vampires didn't do a great deal, I mean, if you see purples, he's got so many vampires. But it was the early threat, I think, that really worked for me. I think I could have played it. Yeah, there's the GG. I could have played it a little bit better, but I don't know. I think sneakily taking their reactor, I could have just, you know, took a friendly reactor, but... I always I like being a cheeky bugger, okay? I'll take the I'll take the other one. <laughs> so there we go. I, I think I'm gonna about to send them all in. And look, a Wolverine from Green! And who resigns? Freaking Green resigns. I'm so sorry, Dylan. You you did amazing there. So here we are. A 3v3. We got a cutter, we got a forge, and a random against, of course, the three brute lords. <laughs> I think I, I, I might be in one of the previous games, or maybe it's this one, but I do the Brute glitch where you you do your Vortex and you can still move your Brute. So, unfortunately, I'm boring Cyan. Local units. It's such a shame. Such a shame. I'll do it. But it I'll is what it is, and we are here. Actually, I thought the uh, the Dark Green Brute was, or the, the Covenant, was actually the, one of the last right. colors, but apparently not. Yellow and... Uh, cream of the last colors. So I I played this game so many times. I've played this so like so many not recently, but I've played it growing up so many times that I know exactly where all the crates are. Uh, so I'm gonna use that to my advantage. I'm like, come on, come on, come on. Leader Temple. So I I know where they all are. And again, these guys just don't bother with crates. I I I honestly don't know why. <laughs> to be fair, I never I never capitalize on it. But there we go. We got three different brutes. We had cream. We had yellow. And now we got Cyan, the Brute Lords. So I deliberately send my chopper off because I know my Brute Chieftain can pick up the crates a lot quicker and he's going to be moving around. So I send, I let him get the crates that are closest to my base. Whereas my, the chopper, I might as well Ready. use the speed to my advantage and my knowledge to try and just get some sneaky uh, crates from their side. Enemy so engagement. two UNSCs this time. Ready. It was three Covenants the first time. Two Covenants the second time, and Ready. one Covenant this I'll time do. on the enemy team. So I notice some what? Warthog there, or a Warthog, and I'm thinking, Ready. I'm a bit I'll worried. Do. I'm a bit worried about a Warthog rush here. <laughs> so I'm sending my Brute at the back because I know there's some there. Um, I'll do it. I know that there should be some here for my Brute, but I don't what? see any. My Chopper is do. supplyless, Warehouse if that's a word. There ain't anything there. I'll do it. I'll I'm a bit worried now. Getting the feeling what? that there might Ready. be a Warthog I'll rush do coming. I'll do it. Because my crates have disappeared. And if anything, that means Enemy that one of those engagement. players knows where the crates are on my side and has multiple Warthogs. Because his other Warthog, the Oranges, was back at their side. And Enemy I've already lost engagement. the ones at my side. So that's Warehouse telling me there's at least two out. What? And normally that means that there might no. be a rush coming. So... 
I'm not worried. I've got my blue chief. I got my blue. I got my blue chieftain. And I'm just gonna go for the prestige. I'm gonna quickly try and just take out the turrets. And I'm excited to play on something that. And there they are. There's some I noticed, and they've already got a gunner. So. Now I'm a bit worried. And usually you can collect these crates without taking any damage. I flare up this just to show that they are going to go for a Warthog Rush. Because there is five of them. Um, I try and do a ram. I should have just kept on collecting at least. And unfortunately, I'm being attacked by the turret. So I try and like not be attacked by the turret. But it doesn't work out. I think the other one just starts attacking. Me. So because I know there's a Warthog Rush coming, I put up a turret. Um, I fought somebody who played as Prophet when I Warthog rushed him. And he, I don't know what he did, but he just instantly got medium turrets, upgraded them to anti-vehicle, and I just, and had a shield on his base, and I just couldn't touch him. His bases were solid, so the Warthog rush could not really do anything. And then he's just getting his profit, going around, killing things, getting the hooks, and I was like, oh God, what do I even do? <laughs> and you know, as soon as I get the shield down, his profit, he teleported away, and then come back in when the shield was back. Uh, so I've learned from that game that if I see Warthogs, turrets, low-key, kind of MVP against Warthogs. Especially if they're at the back, because, you know, Warthogs will deliberately avoid the teleporter, knowing that your, you know, your Chieftain or your Arbiter or your uh, Regret will come through and instantly stop wrecking stuff. So they always go to the back of the base, so it's good to set one back there. So because of that, I'm a bit more on edge. I'm thinking I should probably just go into Banshees as quickly as possible. Maybe not go Brutes. Not the best thing to do here. Also, it's a bit worrying going for an Expo when you know there's Warthogs running around. Because he could just target my base straight away and do some major damage while my Brutes quite slow. And he could just run rings, especially since I've got no units. But... It's gonna get crazy. I've said this about every match. This one is the longest out of all of them. I've saved the best to last. You <laughs> go figure. So I'm just, I'm kind of waiting, but at the same time I'm thinking, I'm gonna get my summit. Should I just go for boost instead of waiting? And I think I'm just like, oh no, that's right, engineer. I'm thinking. At this point, I'm still gonna go for brutes. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, and finally Red's like, they're doing Warthog Rush. And I'm like, only oranges. I don't think any of the other ones are. And against three Covenants, it's not a good idea, really, to go for that. Because Covenants can get shields on their bases. They have three freaking Brute Chieftains on their side. So if they all come to defend the one base you're, you're attacking, there's nothing you can do. You're ju you'll just die. So I get an Engineer up just to heal my Brute Chieftain. Because I'm thinking, maybe I should go for some prestige. I don't think it's a meta. I don't think it was ever a meta. But it feels good. And that's what I care about. Uh. So, we can just sit back and just wait. And look, this guy doesn't even realize his crate's there. He sees it goes, oh. <laughs> you see the you see the real-time reaction of him spotting the crates and going, oh, there was some there. <laughs> I think, to be fair, I do the same on my side. I don't remember where all of them are. I just remember where a couple are that I could just sneak. So, he's Outpost flaring up, ready. telling me to get an engineer. And I think he sent me resources too. Which I already had an engineer, but mine's healing me. And I was going to heal him afterwards, but that's fine. Later on, there it is. I think he just steals one of my engineers somehow. It just follows his brute chieftain. <laughs> I didn't set it to do that. It just does it. This is quite interesting. So, I'm still... I'm going to go Brutes. I'll be honest. I didn't even get boost. I've completely forgotten. Oh no, maybe that engineer just stays with them the whole time. I thought after they healed, they didn't. But here we go. See some rebels. Always a good little tactic to do here. Just grab the, uh, the wall. And then click attack and the rebels will run out of the way first before even attacking back and because each brute shot does so much damage you, you've easily got it you, I think you get more attack and defense when you're in the tower too and there we have it and I know some resources are coming up so that's good for me especially when I'm getting this expo and I need all the resources I like. I was like wait hold on <laughs> there's more supplies there. and there we look starred brutes Spoilers, they won't last too long there. 
So, if this guy is Warthog rushing, he's not doing it very well. Warehouse he went complete. for some, and then hasn't really done anything. Now, I hear explosions in the All distance, set. and that's not us. Because I can see All just on the minimap, there's no bases Let's being attacked. Go. So, they're getting their expos now. There are little uh, tips and tricks you can do to check whether a base has been taken over. Um, I, I was watching this guy called... Uh, I want to say his name's Turnip. I think it is. If he's watching, shout out to you. <laughs> I've been, I've, I've been, while I've been painting Warhammer, I've just stuck on these videos because they last for hours. And hopefully, you guys, you know, you sat back, a little bit of a drink, watching RTS. It's fun. And these games aren't sweaty. That's what I like about it. They're not too sweaty. It's more about fun. And that's something that you can't really get anymore in a game that is old like this and doesn't have so much of an active player base on Steam. I think it's more active on Xbox, but not on Steam. So that Prophet has taken that barrier. So I'm assuming they've taken all the walls. And then Green is sending Warthog. So that was surprising to me. And then I see him come through, and I know this is going to be nasty. I don't know if he's going to teleport anything in, but his Prophet of Regret is upgraded twice. So I'm going to get for another. I'm going to. I'm going to get for another. <laughs> I'm going to go for another turret. Uh, I see that. I'm not too worried about that. He can just send over his brute and just kill those. So we're going to get defensive turrets. And there he comes. I think he was hoping that there was no shield on that base and it was just going to beam down. I think he's probably just upgraded his profit loads. And now I'm wondering whether I should... Yeah, there you go. So he's beaming down the turret, which is fair enough. I don't think he expected my boot chieftain to be at the back. So taking the initiative, I'm just going to vortex him and force his hand to teleport out of there. So that's really good because the Prophet is super slow. It's going to take him so long to get back here unless he goes in the teleporter, which I don't think he's going to do. He could, but I, I, I didn't even consider it at this point. <laughs> I forgot about the teleporter. But looking back, I'm like, yeah, he could have so easily just went back in the teleporter. Still, it's going to take him some time to get here. So I'm going to opt for getting the wall back, at least on my side, just to give me some peace of mind, knowing that nothing's going to come through there without an early alert system. I haven't really been keeping an eye on what my teammates have been doing. And that's just because we've played so many games at this point. This is our third game. We've won two. I'm not really worried. If anything goes wrong, if I see them at their side, I'm good. And you can see on the minimap, my engineer is following. It's going over there. <laughs> oh, I don't, it just it just must have followed the units that were weak and he just kept on kiting it because I, I lose it and I click all units and it exists. Local and I'm like, I have no idea where it is. So he's putting on a guard in the wall, which I mean, holds the wall, but unfortunately they can't do anything. So yeah, just gonna fire up, take those. And I'm thinking of quite a sneaky tactic right here because brutes can get jetpack and they're the only infantry apart from you know odst that can jump around the map quite freely and jump over chasms odsts can i suppose because they drop in wherever but once they're dropped that's it they're quite slow but brutes they've got the maneuverability so i'm thinking ahead here i'm like okay so let's get the jetpacks but first we need to save up just a, a cool 1k, you know, just, just a little bit. And I notice he's going for hunters. So I'm thinking, actually, that's quite good. Because brutes are good against air, hunters are good against vehicles, and because there's two UNSCs, likelihood of scorpions is very high. So it just depends what purple's going for, because I don't think I've seen anything from purple just yet. So here we am doing you know I, i'm using my time wisely here as you can see i'm just waiting <laughs> waiting for resources and here i'm eyeing up the bases because i've get my jetpack and i'm thinking what can i jump over what's better i see that green has already got lots of stuff in his base he's got turrets too so i'm, I'm not thinking about that uh but the other the other one is still a mystery so i decide i'm thinking ooh, should i go for boost but i don't even have i don't even have so, yep, 
the resources have already been stolen from this base, so I don't think any of us did that. That must have been the other side. More than likely, it was some of the warthogs. So, here you go. We're against the prophet, right? Now, if he'd... There's two mistakes you can make, and they make both of them. So the first mistake I'll mention here is that if you make your prophet fly and a vampire gets him, like stasis drains him, you can't do anything. You're just stuck. So I'm I'm hoping he makes his prophet fly. So I'm going to get one single vampire. <laughs> just so if he does fly, I can stasis drain him and just completely immobilize him. So that's, that's from back in the day. I remember that strategy. Uh, and then here, I'm just going to get this base because obviously that means I get, you know, 50% more brutes quicker. And I'm, I'm thinking, if the base is built up, how many brutes is it going to take? Now, they are upgraded. Um, I'm going to send a banshee over there just to see, you know, scope things out. See what we got going on. What we got going on. You know, is it is it worth it? And what do we have? We've Oh, well, I haven't got close up. And look at this. It's an unupgraded base. Not only is it unupgraded... It has nothing on it. And I'm like, oh, this is this is too good, boys. Let's go. <laughs> so look at the damage these brutes do, man. Look at that. It just melts it. And he just deletes it. He, he rage quits instantly. He's like, nah. <laughs> he knows it's dead. He wants some resources back. And just like that, brutes straight out. Gorgeous. Nice. <laughs> I, I deserve a little... Oh, hold on. I haven't done that. Oh, I don't have me uh, my Steam Deck. Oh, I wanted to give myself a little cheers. Here we go. Can I, can I do it now? There we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted. And, and look at me. I'm like, oh, look. Supply. So I decide to destroy, I think, the summit on my other base. Not destroying the warehouse because obviously that glitch. And I'm thinking, do I go back? I'm getting prepared to jump back over just in case. And actually, I have brutes over there. I don't even know how those went there, but they're there. So I send my unupgraded banshee very slowly, just to have a look. And you know what? They decided to just leave it. And they, what you can do is you can set your rally point on the base. And if you can, that means that the base is already uh, not claimed yet. And there, I just noticed ODS freaking tease. And now I'm worried. I flag it up because I don't think anyone else saw that. And I think I noticed that they've got their teleporter uh, relay, like, at the end of it in with ODSTs. So I'm like, do I? You know, I'm going to send him over. Send over the brute, and there it is. So I quickly try and kill these guys, but I know for a fact he's just going to drop. And there it is. He's dropped in more. So my turret is not upgraded, but I'm expecting just... You know, this is the strategy. You send in one ODST... And just before it dies, you drop in another one. And if you do it well enough and time it well enough, you, ju you just can't stop them. So luckily, my other turret does get up. And it seems like he was just scouting. Like, this isn't an assault. This is just, I want to see what you got in your base. So instant brute. Now he's getting the, the uh, ODSTs to jump over the other side by getting line of sight. And I'm like, base under attack? Oh, you buggers, you. <laughs> but luckily, brutes, freaking amazing. And there they are. There's Dark Green strategy. It's Banshees. So I'm like, oh, that's not far enough away. And here we go to save the day. Brutus. I send them around the back because I'm expecting the Banshees to go that way. But I decide to split up my brutes half and half. Half to fight the ODSTs and a half to try and take on the Banshees. I also get my brute back because I've got Tsunami. And if I can, I may as well. Uh, I kind of want to not vortex my own brutes. And I see a Mac Blast and I'm instantly like, Oh God, get out, get out, move, move, move. Uh, but then he just decides instead of Mac Blasting to do that. Because he realizes it's probably best to stop me doing that. And fortunately, Purple has brutes. And the second mistake of the game that I'm hoping they make, and they did actually make, Forge goes for Grizzlies. And o ODSTs are gone. He decides not to reinforce those, so I make them jump back into the fight, and these Banshees are going to be ripped apart by Brutes. There's, like, literally nothing. And then I see the Prophet is still not flying, so I'm like, oh, that's very clever. Very good. Okay, okay. 
So I've only invested a little bit into the Banshee. Sorry, into the Vampire, so I'm not too fussed. <laughs> he just gets sucked all that way. And his one-star profit, I think he tried to get them out, but because of the destruction, he couldn't. So that's uh, that's unfortunately uh, uh, team friendly fire there, kind of. And then the Hunters are fully upgraded. Grizzlies are terrible. Off, I mean, in a 1v1 against uh, rotation, ro rotation turrets, is it? They just can't hold up. Um, so at this point, I see oh, he's he's got his Odious Twos over there. And he's just going to, when he can, when he's got them all back, he's just going to drop more in. All units. Now, the problem with Orange is he's decided to make his entire attack strategy ODSTs. Now, they're not great, just as they are. They're great if you have a full population of tanks, and then when the tanks die, drop in the ODSTs. Because then you can constantly, like, you know, max pop you. But just having max ODSTs is not a good play, especially against Brutes, which are just amazing. I mean, they're not the perfect counter, but... Oh, I mean, it's a brute match. Oh, oh. <laughs> so I'm going into my final age now because I want the final upgrade for my brutes. I'm also going to be taking the middle as well. because And then I realized, wait a minute, instead of going with the middle, why don't I just go through my teleporter? Because I've got a sneaky plan at the moment. And I do not want to be spotted. So I'm going to go through the teleporter, even though it's a lot slower. And I'll just quickly support this before they can get the RPGs off. You know, it's some damage. You don't, you don't want any damage. And of course, I put loads more shield generators on the more vulnerable base. But there we go. Just getting that max pop. Really, I want to get the extra 10 pop. And, and this is amazing. He pelicans in. <laughs> Look at the war dog. It just defies gravity. What is this, wicked? <laughs> wicked Warthog! And it dies. I think it gets killed by uh, Brutes there. And of course, you hear the Hunters. Now, I didn't realize just how slow this was. They literally go in one by one and one every two seconds or three seconds. So it takes ages. But you know what? There's no rush. Literally, we're not rushing. So I'll just wait. Because I know they have those in the middle and I don't want to give away my plan just yet. Because... The Cutter has the ODSTs and is really kind of harassing us and splitting up our forces. So we're not attacking. That We're on the defense at the moment. But I want to change this. I'm going to go with the offense here. Like, he's just going to constantly drop in ODSTs and harass. And they seem to be fine. And, you know, every now and again, Green will come up with his tanks. And I'm like, look, guys. Look, guys. Look what I'm doing. I'm going to do something amazing here. I think Purple realizes and he does join. So now, because I'm going on a complete offensive and I've upgraded my turrets, I'm going to get all the turrets. Uh, I see... I don't think I even realized that green's attacking red to the right because the map's green and green's green, so I don't even see it. But I'm like, I'm almost all the way through. The last ones are finally here. And now I see wolverines. Like, loads of wolverines, actually. I'm quite happy about that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I didn't go for you guys. Sweet. So even more Wolverines there. And I noticed the, the middle's down, so I'm just going to take the middle. So we'll just uh, pop in some Brutes here. And the Wolverines, I've got like two shield regenerators on my base. He can attack that if he wants to. I've got, I've got surprises here. Here we go. Here's the play. Kill the reactor. So if you don't have three tech, you can't drop ODSTs. So as long as I just take out this... His attention's completely turned away. And that two reactors gone, and that's it. He can't drop ODSTs anymore. And he's got unupgraded Warthogs. He can't even get tanks now. <laughs> he can't make anything. The second tech goes down. I'm like, this is sweet. I'm going to jump over here. Bye, Grizzly. Little did I realize I was about to go into all the Grizzly. <laughs> so, because Brutes are just so good with the, the DPS and I, I, I knew that those Wolverines would be taken out by the by a friendly or something and then Purple comes in he, he decides to attack a supply pad and then I realize Orange has freaking Oxide Tank Flamethrowers did not see those which you don't need any tech for and he's already upgraded so he can keep on getting those and then there we go and I realize at this point all my boots are gone um, with those Flamethrowers 
the profit. There's literally nothing I do. I might as well just stand and fight. But for losing most of my brutes, we took out an entire base. Orange is now crippled majorly. And his expo is being attacked by red. So it's 3v2 now at this point. I mean, I don't have any troops at the moment, really. But at the same time, Orange can't make anything. I can, so it's not so bad. And I think now I finally decide to get a vampire. And I think I may have seen the prophet. That's why I might have seen these flying. Because I saw that cleansing beam. So at that point, I'm like, you've, you've screwed yourself. For one, the forge went for grizzlies, making them worse. Two, the prophet went for flying. So he's basically got no leader as long as I've got one vampire. Um... It, you just love to see it. You love to see the little mistakes. <laughs> and there you go. I'm like, yeah, this guy's done. He's locked up his base, but he's about to lose his base. And for some reason, the weirdest mistake happens here. The hunters don't decide to kill the base. He decides, for some reason, to attack the grizzly. <laughs> and I'm like, just kill the base, dude. Just kill the base. Um... And now Purple decides to switch tactic here, which is fine. Like, I, I'm going Brutes. I'm not seeing any reason why I shouldn't. <gasps> I still have my one-star Brute. Oh, that's amazing. Get in. I didn't even realize that. And then Purple flares up like, can, can we take care of this? <laughs> can, can we get rid of these guys? And you know what? For being ODSTs and in the, uh, in the sniper, the crow's nest, whatever you want to call it, they take a remarkable... Uh, amount of damage because normally like you would be invulnerable unless it was you know anti-infantry but damn i mean there is a lot of brutes let's be honest but they they melt anything so i take these guys um as well just because i don't want him to have line of sight he can't drop in any odsts now the, the tactic is once you lose one of those nests one of those sniper towers you just drop another odst in and get in again and just keep on doing that but because he's lost his reactors he can't do that and brutes in there are going to be a pain. And there's my one vampire waiting. Uh, I think he's going to get out of here. I, I think I, I... Yeah, this is it. He doesn't even realize and I click him. I go, dude, you're about to lose your brute. And he, he sees it. There he goes, oh, God. And quickly goes to his best. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, hold on now. Steady. Save your brute. <laughs> that, was, oh, that was a major faux pas there almost. I think I might have lost my brute when the... Um, the Wolverines turned up. I'm not sure. I think I did, which is a bit of a shame, but you know, all's fair. Uh, I think Orange, Local Orange's unit. base manages to survive because for some odd reason, Red decided to attack the, the Grizzlies when he could have just killed the base and then attacked the Grizzlies. But you know what? At this point, Engineer I was ready. pretty happy. And then a Scarab. Damn, I was pretty happy with the progress we're making. And you know Warehouse it's bad. Upgraded. You know Warehouse it's bad upgraded. when freaking scarabs start appearing <laughs> it's bad and it's really good it's great for content because <laughs> that means that nothing has happened so far uh, like it's either been so one-sided that one player has just sat back and collected three thousand resources i mean really it's five it's, i think it's six thousand resources in total to get a scarab because you need the tech as well as everything else so we have a scarab i'm pretty happy with that i'm like look guys i got my brutes i'm gonna do it again i'm gonna jump over to the other base and i'm about to be surprised here pleasantly surprised and also a bit scared at the same time you'll see why in a second i've got the extra population for my brutes so i've got like so many and I'm, I'm thinking, do I jump up there? Units. Uh, and then I think he's saying he wants a heal. And I see some flamethrowers. Now, they don't know we're here. And when these flamethrowers come by, I think Local they were just units. trying to take the middle tower. Because there's only two he sent. Um, he, all of them realize now that all my brutes are in the middle. And I'm pretty happy. I'm just upgrading my brute. I'm upgrading to large turrets now. Because I haven't seen black in a long time. I don't know where he is. I, I like to flip-flop. We'll call him black. We'll call him dark green. I don't know. Enemy <laughs> it's kind of both. And Local look, units. we have double scarab. And also profit there, flying. So I, I think I don't realize this straight away. 
Yeah, there we go. And I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get that vampire in. There we go. So I focus down one of the towers because you'll notice his engineers are actually just healing themselves. They're not healing the scarab. And then finally he realizes, but just a tiny bit too late. And my brutes kill a scarab. And he actually sends more engineers in. His prophet is paralyzed now, which is good. But I also see that Anders is finally going for hawks. Um, and this is not going well. He's got about 10 engineers. I think he's went for the classic that, you know, two scarabs, 10 engineers filling that population. Yeah, it's 10. So I'm not thinking we're doing too hot here. Also, I realized that his prophet's back, or at least my vampires died, I think. Um, because the scarab's anti-air gun might have... Now I'm a bit worried. Now I'm very worried. I did not see the hornets, which are about to become hawks because they've got their chaff pods. And I think my brute's... Yeah, brute's gone. Brute's dead. And I decide to last ditch effort just to see if he's got anything up here, which he does. And, you know, we, we, we're just gonna... We're just gonna stop that, put some pressure on, make Orange feel like he's still under, you know, imminent threat of demise and i'm like i'm gonna go vamps guys at this point the memes are over i'm a bit worried about the scarab and especially if he goes for the jesus scarab which is the uber unit of the covenant um so i quickly just go all anti-air just in case things come over that are flying um uh, yeah, so Jesus Scarab, sorry, I, got, I lost my train of thought there. Jesus Scarab is where you get one Scarab and then 30 engineers. And it is incredibly hard to take them down. So there we go, the Hornets are coming over. Um, I'm checking to see who it is. And I'm like, okay, he could, I think. Oh no, it's Forge, never mind. No, he can't get Hawks. I'm like, yeah, that's why I was checking. I'm like, wait, why has he got chat pods if he's, if he's Forge? Oh. Oh, okay. I thought he was Anders. Never mind. <laughs> I probably made the same mistake. So, I've lost my brute chieftain. I know. Egregious. And then finally here, his scarab comes over. And it's a one-star scarab. I didn't even see that there. Uh, but luckily, I see the pressure going over this way. So all I need to do is just make sure that I keep this scarab occupied. And then as long as red and purple go around, clean up their bases, I'm good. So... I think I destroyed one of the shield generators, which... Uh, looking back now, I would have preferred to have had another one just so I could stall him even longer. But, you know, I did want the vampires as well. And you know what? Because I've got so many resources, instead of just going all vampires, I might as well go all vampires and brutes if I can. So here we go. I see that they're getting a little bit closer. I think they're coming to support me, which is interesting because I'm not really too fussed. <laughs> like, there we go. We're still going. Uh, Orange has lost his only big base. Green is now under real big pressure from them. And I'm, I'm like, you know what? I'll save up. I'll save up and see what happens. There's no point in me attacking the Scarab now. But I, I see just how many things are there. And I'm like, okay, doesn't matter what happens here. Worst case scenario, I fly my vampires over and grab it like one of the bases they just killed. And I realize my base is gone. Which isn't an issue, because I've got two two other ones. I've got fully upgraded turrets. I've got anti-air. I'm not worried. I don't even know where the hawks have went. Oh, sorry, the, uh, the hornets. And there we go. Now they are really under pressure, because their main three bases are going to be attacked now. So, they're left with two options. Either carry on, keep attacking my base, and eventually fight me, or go back. And fortunately, for me anyway... He decides to go back. He's, he's not keeping his engineers with his scarab, and that's really going to hit him in the arse. <laughs> Majorly. And I noticed that. I'm like, guys, let's go say hello to his scarab. And my vamps, I'm like, his engineers are nowhere near him. Get the engineers while they're, they're just out in the open. So that's what I'm hoping to do. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just sort of microing some things. And here we go. I'm looking for them, and I'm just going to stasis drain them, because I don't think engineers can do anything once they're stasis. And I make sure that one of the vampires goes for the, the uh, leader, and he does disappear anyway. And the one-star scarab dies! No! That was so much extra health and stuff. And then, I mean, the engineers are easy picked off. And jackals, even though they're really good against other infantry, they are so weak. And they just die to the brute shot. I think a brute against a jackal is probably an even fight. 
And then Red is like, guys, push. Go. The brute god requires brutes. Brute for the brute god. <laughs> Even though he's went for hunters. Heresy. <laughs> so I send him my vamps because I'm like, I know this hornet somewhere. I don't know where. But I'm going to find him. And I see that at the base, there is like four hornets. Which, you know, I can take out. It's not so bad. I'm expecting a cryo. But at this point, the only the only person here that hasn't really felt any, any pressure from us is the dark green player. That's it. Orange has had to play hard. Uh, green has had to play hard. And dark green has done nothing. They, I mean, they lost one base when I jumped across. But apart from that, he's done nothing. Like, he, he built two freaking scarabs. He hasn't been really defending at all. So, I see the mag blast, and I'm like, oh, well, we've lost the scarab. But I'm not fussed at this point. I, I feel like it's over. So, who do you think is going to resign first? Have a guess. Have a guess. After all this battle, who will resign first? Yes. Local the results may shock you. It was the... Oh, no! It was... I thought it was, I thought it was the Covenant. No, okay. Green goes because he's about to lose his base, which makes sense. And then the Covenant goes... <laughs> the Covenant! Who had, like, all his bases and everything. Anyway, that has been some brutey goodness. If you have enjoyed Halo Wars, maybe we'll do more. This was just... I thought it was funny, so I'd put it up on the channel. But if you enjoyed it, leave a like. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye